Hey there, everybody. Welcome back. My name is Dax Suter. You've joined me here again today for another English phrase. Today's phrase is out of the frying pan and into the fire. Out of the frying pan and into the fire. Well, in both of these uh, places, we, we know there's some heat involved. The frying pan is hot. The fire is also obviously hot. And the heat in this situation represents difficulty. So out of the frying pan into the fire means to go from one difficult situation to a much more difficult situation. Out of the frying pan and into the fire. Okay, I believe in Chinese you say, Chai gang chu yu huo yu jin ru huo kung. Yu jin ru huo kung. Okay, I hope you had a good laugh at my Chinese. I know it's comical. Out of the frying pan into the fire. Again, it means out of one trouble and into worse trouble. From something bad to something much worse. Let's listen to a few example sentences. The policeman was out of the frying pan and into the fire. After he escaped from the gang, he was captured by gangs. Okay. So, he was in a bad situation with the gang, and he was in a worse situation when he was captured by terrorists. Out of the frying pan and into the fire. Another example here. Wendy thought things were bad when she missed the bus and arrived to work late. But when her boss fired her, she realized she was out of the frying pan and into the fire. Okay, so being late for work was one bad situation, but getting fired from her job was much worse. Out of the frying pan and into the fire. Again, it means to go from one difficult situation or bad situation to something much more difficult or much worse. Okay, I hope you don't go out of the frying pan and into the fire this week. I hope you stay out of trouble and out of difficulty. Uh, we're going to come again next time for another English phrase. And in the meantime, take care.